What's up racers and collectors, CB here, and it's time for another episode of Cars That Make You Go, hmm? And I gotta give a special thanks to John Mueller, who not only supplied some of the cars for this episode, but thanks to him, we have a new mascot. This is Wembley and Cotterpin. As you know, my racetrack is called Frugal Rock Raceway, and these are characters from Fraggle Rock which was generously donated by John. And these are from 35 years. 30. Thank you, John, for showing my age on this, but if you're under the age of 30, you probably don't remember these guys from Fraggle Rock. But we have new mascots for the channel. We'll set those aside for now, and we'll get into the cars. And the first one I wanna show you, I picked up this pack, this five pack of Maisto cars. Can you guess which one is gonna be the one that makes us go, hmm? Yeah, I'm thinking it's gonna be that one, right? Let's crack this open and take a closer look. So here's a closer look at Maisto's attempt to make a fantasy car of some kind of bug with with these blue windows, they look like eyes, so I'm assuming they're going for some kind of a insect thing or how Hot Wheels just loves to meld animals with wheels. And Maisto said, let's try that. And they came up with something that looks like a bug or an insect. And you would think, you would think, they'd have a clever name for this called, you know, something like Bug Rod or insect machine or something but no look what they called it speed dog speed dog where, where do you see anything that resembles a dog on this thing and I, I I'm guessing this is like the motor and these are the I don't I don't know I'm not even gonna speculate but where they came up with the name Speed Dog for this, I don't understand. So this is this is just one of the strangest designs I've ever seen. Um, and but but to name it Speed Dog, just makes no sense. <laughs> All right, so we'll move on. Okay, I just pulled this out of the package. This is the uh, brand new 2019 diaper dragger. Alrighty. Wow, where do you start on this one? There is a baby carriage attached to a dragster, complete with the big chrome V8 engine on it. And, uh, what makes me wonder about this, and this is just my twisted mind thinking, how a baby could drive something like this when a baby doesn't have the intelligence nor the dexterity to handle a dragster racer. I mean, that's just me. That's just how I think. It's even got the uh, wheelie bars on it. Um, just one of the, there's even a teddy bear inside too. There's a teddy bear. So, it's just one of those that make me say, it just makes me wonder what Hot Wheels were thinking. Um, you know, first, first was the toilet car, now we have the diaper dragger. Okay, I, you, you know, the, I'm sure there were babies, you, you, I'll put it this way, you know what kind of a person grows up if they were a baby driving something like this? I'll show you who. Yep. For those of you who don't know, that was Aaron over at Hot Wheels Calgary, <laughs> the Godfather, who, if you don't know, he was he's a huge dragster fan, and I'm pretty sure he was probably placed in one of these when he was a kid and raced it. And that's why he does what he does today. Anyways, <laughs> moving on. Next up. <laughs> Oh, 
<laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> okay, friend. <laughs> Okay, I gotta give uh, John Mueller credit for this one. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, the, this one uh, came from John Mueller. And I realize I have to be extremely delicate with this. That's what she said. Because this is a, a family-friendly show. But... <laughs> Oh God, where do I start? How do I? <laughs> this is a, this was a, believe it or not, this was a Wendy's uh, car. Uh, put in the their version of Happy Meals. And, um, I, I don't know what they were thinking when they came up with a kid's toy that looks like this. I'm not I, I'm not gonna say what this looks like or what this resembles because like I said family friendly show but um yeah somebody actually green lighted this and said yeah this would be a great toy for kids um I'll leave it up to you to let you uh, come on <laughs> Come up with your own conclusions as to what this is supposed to be. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but um, somebody got fired over this, I think. Um, so um, I, I'm going to leave this here. I'm just going to leave this here and let you um, scratch your own heads. Moving on to another carded model here now wasn't I saying something about how Hot Wheels just loves to mix animals with cars well ladies and gentlemen I give you the turbo rooster I I I gotta open this up and take a look let's see what we got here, here we go Got it out of the package, and this is part of the Street Beasts series by Hot Wheel. Hot Wheels. Ad. I don't see where a rooster is a beast, but yet yeah, here we are. So, I and now that I look at it closely, I don't know where they get rooster from. I don't see a whole lot that resembles a rooster. Uh, but yet they have a, I guess, I don't know if that's a Japanese symbol or a Chinese symbol or what. There's a rooster head on it. Um, so, and a number, 17. So I don't know what kind of race this would, this would have been perfect for the uh, Cars That Make You Go Hmm race that I had recently. Talk about bizarre. This is why we do the Cars That Make You Go Hmm series, because how many of you are looking at this and saying, what the heck? So, an interesting one. Thank you, Hot Wheels, for, for um, <laughs> making me wonder what the heck you were thinking. Let's move on. One more, or we got a couple more here. Okay, we've got another John Mueller special here. You're all familiar with the old Cloak and Dagger. All right. Been around a while. Pretty popular uh, fantasy model. And uh, what struck me about this one, uh, well, there's a couple of things that strike me about this one. Um, first of all, on the back, it reads, with no windows, covered wheels, and a mini jet engine, this futuristic single-seater was made for interplanetary stealth missions. Well, how are you going to have interplanetary stealth missions if there's no windows? And there isn't. How do you know where you're going? But another thing that got me right here. Removable body. Why? Why would you remove the body? And another thing. It's called Cloak and Dagger. Right there. 
And most of these models have been, you know, kind of dark and mysterious, and even the name Cloak and Dagger kind of brings up images of something, you know, dark and sinister. And this thing is bright and cheery and see-through and clear and yellow and doesn't exactly conjure up images of anything Cloak and Dagger. But I gotta see, I gotta open this so I can see what the deal is with the, the body being removed. Okay, out of the package. And, you know, when you get it out of the package, it's even more bizarre than you thought. And yes, the body somehow comes off. There we go. And that's what we're left with. So what's the point? Why, why? What purpose does this serve? By taking the... Oh, good grief. By taking the body off. Yeah. What point does this serve? Is it any better or cooler by taking the body off? I don't know. It's still just a weird model that... You know, I guess they were looking for some gimmick. Um, now, I, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say about this thing. Is it better with it on or off? I'm not really sure. Um, it's definitely a bright colored car. And this just... I don't care, Hot Wheels. <laughs> I don't. I don't know what you were aiming for. What were your? What was your goal for this? I don't know. There it is. Interesting. Let's move on. We got one more from John Mueller. This is the uh, GM Lean Machine. Now I remember. I don't know what year. So this was around '97. I remember GM actually uh, made this as a concept car. And let me pull it out of here a second and show you what the deal was with this one. This, the way it was designed was to mix, to kind of mix motorcycles with cars. And it was actually a pretty cool concept. I don't know what happened here, but um, the body itself would would lean it would swivel kind of and would lean into turns um like a motorcycle and uh well, hence the name lean machine and it was actually pretty cool and you'd sit in in the cockpit there like like it was a motorcycle and you'd lean into the turns and it would turn it was actually kind of a cool concept um the problem i'm having with this Hot Wheels version of it, is it doesn't do that little swivel thing. I mean, I've seen Hot Wheels have parts that swivel for no apparent reason, but the one thing that should be a movable part doesn't move at all. So instead it just goes straight, which isn't really that cool. If this part right here would turn, and you'd be able to turn the car like that, that would be awesome. But this, they just kind of half-assed it on this one, I think. I mean, it's a pretty simple-looking vehicle that could have been made so much better if that part would actually turn, and you could actually turn the car that way. But no, we just got three wheels and a body. And that was it. So thanks again to uh, John Mueller for sending in a few of these. Um, I appreciate it very much. Uh, you keep this series going this way. And uh, hopefully you enjoy the video. If you're not a subscriber, uh, hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. If you got any questions or want to talk or anything, just hit me up at uh, frugaldiecaster at gmail.com. Again, thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you soon.